My name is uh, Alva D. Smith Grubb. Probably I was <clears throat> selected for the jury because I had no um, remembrance of the Catonsville Nine. Um, and uh, there was another lady on the jury and um, she and I became friends and we used to have uh, lunch together. And um, we were very sympathetic to the, the members of the group. And even though we know that they were exactly guilty <laughs> of destroying um, uh, draft records, we um, held out, and finally, um, the man who was the foreman of the jury spoke to us and said, we want to get out of here, so you have to change your vote. So we did. I was uh, absolutely uh, sympathetic because uh, um, I had uh, a son who did not want to serve in the uh, Vietnam War. And uh, my son protested on the grounds of uh, College Park. And he was uh, met with uh, dogs, police, and water, and hoses. I think uh, it's very important to protest. Um, but I think it's most important that you protest peacefully because then it's the beginning of change. If uh, you have uh, riots and uh, disagreements in your protest, that's the thing that people basically remember. And that's why I think that uh, the Catonsville Nine um, was uh, so negative in Catonsville because they went into the Knights of Columbus where the <clears throat> um, draft uh, office was and they quickly took all these uh, records, not all of them, but uh, and took them out to a can that they had a fire in and burnt them up. But the good thing about that is that they sparked other protests all up and down the East Coast. They knew the consequences. And that's what Philip uh, Berrigan knew for the rest of his life, the consequences. The Catonsville Nine were just <clears throat> part of a journey, and a journey that is going on and on and on. If you think about it, the Revolutionary War was a protest, and it has gone on and on and on from them. That's the right of the people.